How much powder? Recommended. Yeah, I'm sure I'm within the guidelines. <laughs> Want to give you guys a little background on uh, just about the sign and some other things that are going on. Uh, first of all, oh, I'm going to have to shout. If you can't hear me, let me know. But um, the president of the Historic Society, Sherry Burdick, is over here. I just want to introduce her. Um, I'm the vice president. Sherry's the president. Jan Snyder is the secretary. And Mike's, is Mike here? No. So uh, we got uh, three, three out of four of the officers of the Historic Society are here. Um, so when we decided to have the ceremony tomorrow, we really thought it would be great to have one of those state markers that you see around around on the roads. And uh, unfortunately, the state wasn't doing them in 2022, uh, because I guess because of COVID or the budget or whatever. And uh, we had to wait till 2023. So we decided that we would write up the language, get it approved, submit it. And then we went to a printer and we just had our own made. Welcome to where. <laughs> um, so this is our temporary, temporary state marker. Uh, I will acknowledge that there's one mistake on here, and it's supposed to be 1775, so we missed that. But the real, the real sign when it's made will be corrected. So and we'll probably correct this for tomorrow too. But we're going to bring this down to the town center for the event tomorrow, so people can see it. A lot of people couldn't make it tonight, obviously. So. Um, but you know, I want to thank Neil. Neil Kirk did a lot of the work on this. He's one of our directors, and uh, I think it came out really nice. So we're gonna probably talk to Lisa, who owns the property here. We're gonna uh, probably mount it over there on the side. Uh, for those not familiar, uh, this marker was placed in 1928. This is the site of the Pine Tree Riot in this in this lot area here. I don't think that's not anything original at all. Uh, but it was on this site that Quimby's Inn stood and where the Pine Tree Riot actually took place. And Ebenezer Mudgett's house is right down the hill about a quarter of a mile, not even that, on the left. As you drive down, his house is down there. There's another stone marker off to the side of that house, which tells you that this is the site of the first town meetings in Ware, and that was in a house that he owned. So it wasn't his house at first, but he bought it from somebody else. So there's two, two markers, and we have a map that we're going to give out tomorrow that points out where these locations are for people if they want to drive it. So uh, I'll just read the wording on the sign, and, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll make that a five. So on this site in 1772 stood Aaron Quimby's Tavern, where on the morning of April 14th, Ebenezer Mudgett and about 20 other men or so from where incensed that they're impending arrest for cutting pine trees greater than one foot in diameter in violation of the king's edict reserving them for the royal navy vigorously attacked the arresting sheriff and his deputy with switches budget and his cohorts later received light fines from a sympathetic court this act of rebellion was one of the first against english authority leading up to the revolution in 1775 um, it's uh it's important to know too that one of the judges on that court where they received light fine was Misich Ware, and this town was named after him. He was the first president slash governor of New Hampshire, um, and the town is named for him. So it's uh, kind of an ironic twist. Uh, he was obviously sympathetic to the patriotic movement. Um, what I'd like to do is I just I, I wrote a I wrote a little thought, a few thoughts down. I just wanted to read it, uh, just on perspective on this event. So on this spot, 250 years ago this week, a group of men from where took action to defend their liberties, their rights to private property, self-determination, and a legitimate voice in their own government. Living in, living in a world where law enforcement, the judicial system, the legislature, in fact the entire government structure, all answered to one person, the King of England, the Sovereign, and these men had no... and. The men who, who did this had no means to appeal their grievances. 
you know, their private property was being taken. They were being taxed very heavily. So they took their grievances down the only path they had. They appealed to heaven, their creator, to protect them as they fought back to reclaim these rights. No one else was going to protect them. So they basically put faith in their actions and threw caution to the wind and risked everything. The example they set, pushing back against unjust tyranny they experienced, would set the stage for others in New England and beyond to do the same, fighting their way out of second-class colonial status as subjects into becoming the sovereigns themselves, or we the people. So the sovereignty in the world has flipped since 1772. In the United States, which was the outcome of a lot of these actions, is the reason for that. We owe a debt of gratitude to these men and their families for risking everything they had, their safety, their fortune, and their well-being in the name of liberty, freedom, and what is right. Here's to the Pine Tree Riot and the men from where who made it happen. May we never forget what they did, and may we celebrate it and pass the lesson on down to our children. Thank you. So I want to introduce um, Andy Akers is the Reverend from the uh, New Hampshire Society of American Sons of Revolution, and he's brought some of his his Honor Guard um, cohorts and colleagues. They're going to be here tomorrow in the in the event with us as well. We're going to shoot off the volley. Is it one or two? Do you know? How many you want us to okay. we'll do it? I think two would be superb. Three, three is customary. Three would be customary for for something like this. So they're going to. They're going to turn and fire in that direction. If you want to take pictures, I would come around to the side. Yeah, yeah not that side. So come around to the side. Don't go in front of the line. Gentlemen, you feel free to, to, to uh, let's, let's look behind people and clear you. Why don't you come this, come this way, buddy? Cooper, get over here. Right about. Hey. Come on, man. Whoa. Guys, Fire. That's not fire alarm. That's all. 